Everton are in talks with Napoli over a loan move for winger Jesper Lindstrom. The 24-year-old joined Napoli last summer from Eintracht Frankfurt. Uh, he's played 29 times for Napoli and hasn't scored a single goal. Uh, the Danish international played 16 caps 16 times and scored one goal for his national side. He had a better scoring record in Frankfurt. Uh, he got 13 goals for them and he had 12 the season before for Bromby. It hasn't worked for him at Napoli at all so far. Uh, Fabrizio Romano saying both clubs are still locked in talks uh, over a loan move with an option to buy. Uh, we'll see if anything comes. It's Everton quite clearly on the lookout for, for two more wingers, obviously. They maintain an interest in Leeds United winger Wilfred Nonto. Uh, obviously, look the Philogene. They also were very close to signing Jan Kuba Minta before the Calvert Lewin to deal to Newcastle fell through. So Everton definitely after two wide players, and um, we'll see whether Lindstrom becomes one of them. Uh, Everton today have also been linked with a move for Palmeiras midfielder Richard Rios. He's 24 years of age. Uh, he's played for Colombia. He's just played in the Copper America as well. He's been capped 13 times for his national side, scoring two goals. He's played 82 times for Palmeiras and scored five goals. In the league season for Palmeiras, he got dribbler of the season. Whatever that means over there. It looks like a, a decent player. Uh, good age as well. And it is about time Everton started breaking into the South American market and getting players from that neck of the woods over here. We've seen Brighton have success with that as well as other clubs. So uh, hopefully Everton can start making inroads into that market as well. In an interview with Everton FC uh, today, Jared Branthwaite says he hopes to build on his outstanding breakthrough season at Everton last season and for England, uh, while revealing that he's targeting a fast start with the Blues for the upcoming campaign. Uh, Branthwaite said, I think for me, it's just about taking what I learned last season and the season before and putting it all together. I think last season, playing all the games I did, helped me put performances in and get the experience I needed. I'm going to take that into this season and keep learning. When you've got a good defensive record, it gives you confidence going into the new season. It's not just the defenders who contribute to that, it's the whole team and it's the way the manager has set us up to give us the best possible chance of winning games and to pick up as many points as we can. And I think it'll be the same again this season. Hopefully we can pick up a few wins early on and get the momentum going into the new season. It's good to see that Everton have done an interview with Brantway, keeping him front and centre, uh, despite all of the uh, the cry arson from Manchester United fans. Some Manchester United fans have to make it clear with that, uh, about fees and stuff like that. Brantwaite has been fantastic for Everton last season, capped by England, of course, ridiculously left out of England's Euro 24 squad. But it's better for us. He got a break. He's back. He's away in Ireland with Everton right now. And hopefully um, Manchester United buying um, Lenny Yorrow means, even though they're still after another centre-back, means that Everton's position is stronger now. And uh, we get to see Branthwaite in a blue shirt for the coming season. And finally, Everton are reportedly running the rule over two African youngsters. Everton have invited the Gambia pair, Selu Yang and Tijan Colley, on trial, uh, both who play for Bakatet United Academy. And they are training with Everton's Academy and are hoping to impress uh, the ch with the chance to win contracts at Gullison Park. Being brought over by Jan Kuba, Minter's agent, Everton, of course, very close to signing Minter. Uh, a few weeks ago, I've already mentioned that before the Calvert Lewin deal fell through, but that agent has got these two young lads to Everton for the uh, the academy to have a look at them and if they impress, hopefully sign them on. That is it for the News Daily. Give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. See you later.